Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show. Do apologize if I kept you for waiting for a short while as we were also looking into addressing what's going to be happening into the market today. So let's take a look at what we have for you this morning in our breakfast show, Smart Roby for the US market. That's right, your US market, currently you all would have known the big thing out is all the data centers and they were talking about the uh, utilities. And this is something that we will talk about this morning in our breakfast show. So let's see what we have for you this morning. Let me turn on my uh, uh, the US market and let's take a look at S&P 500 this morning so far, at least from the part where it sort of closed last Friday. Okay, so let me just switch to the bigger chart here. You could see many of the uh, stocks most active is the game stock, which is consumer. You got also the uh, Mara, which is the uh, ETF. But let's take a look at the S&P 500. And where is it showing from a one month chart here? And you could see the S&P 500 has started to turn green Pentagon. And that's really, really fantastic. That means the likelihood of this market will started to move up. Let's see what we have for you for the rest of the uh, install that we have for you right now. And uh, of course, do share and like this video in your timeline. We appreciate it. All right, as the US market will have another leg up, right? Many of you may already known and probably have seen it before. So please help me to spread the good word out. And don't forget, this coming, I think two more, uh, next Saturday, is it next week? Or two more weeks from uh, next Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday on the 22nd and 23rd. I will be in Mid Valley in here and come and join me on the 23rd, uh, 11 o'clock. I'll be doing a talk on Smart Roby. I think many of our reader as, as well as our audience here would have known some of the big benefits with Smart Roby on so I'll be at boot 103. So make sure you catch me at that time, right? Okay, so let's talk about today. Uh, uh, the US NASDAQ has been overly bullish uh, for now. As you can see, uh, S&P 500 has started to turn green Pentagon. And that's very, very interesting because the, uh, the NASDAQ has not turned so. So let me just update this because this was previously red. And now he has turned green Pentagon and we have a up signal for the last three days huh? three days so that is definitely a, a good thing as we can see this market and there's many talks about interest rate up or down i will give you an update just stay tuned right to the end of it and we also review some of our stage two shares and also the stock fa collection in here and of course beginner in the u.s market we highly recommend you to use the uh, roby fa stock because that one provides some sort of a uh, fundamentals some at least you know, a little bit of uh, dividend as you can see from here uh, mastercard lulu okay which is rated five out of eight and proto gamble right that's the one who make a lot of the household product that you see in uh, washing soap washing machine and also a lot of the uh, canned food now of course the smart roby us powered by pentagon guider and this is something that we've been showcasing following the works from Tom Williams, the creator of Volume Spread Analysis. Now, the news that really drive this market is analysts is really turning more positive. And a lot of talks about recession coming in, depending which uh, news source that you look at. But right now, a lot of the uh, analysts being polled that the market will rise another 10%. And of course, it makes a lot of sense because we only have six more months to go. And six months has already passed. We've got six more months to go. So this is definitely a very, very good uh, market to be in. If you're not, I do hope that some of my message that I have in here will probably give you a sense of uh, up to. And I just don't want those members who are listening now in here uh, to miss this part. Another news that comes out is because of the up market that's giving a lot of 401k income. So more people are actually spending the market. And it's something we will talk about shortly in here. So if you look at the uh, market, right, X XLU seems to be performing very well ahead of the XLX, XLK, which is the semiconductors. If you look at it, these are your semiconductors, 
which is the XLK, but the XLU is the utility that has performed very, very well. And partly this is all driven by the data center, a lot of consumption of the util uh, electricity in here, and many of people are buying wires and all the infrastructures. So this is why uh, the XLU has done pretty much better. So keep an eye on the Malaysian market. And also on Wednesday, I did talk about this too, about this market being uh, uh, very positive. So check out the last Wednesday uh, uh, live Facebook that I talk about construction, the data centers, and also the utility stock. So keep a note of this. The, the utility have more room to go higher. So this is where you want to be looking at. Now on the US uh, uh, sector in here seems to be very positive right now. Let me just bring this up again, right? Uh, we have the uh, erase this and uh, also the XLK, okay, which is here just turned green Pentagon. You notice here. So the next one is my favorite too. It's a XL uh, semiconductor started already 42 days, been still very, very strong. And there are some energy sectors hasn't turned yet. So it's just the utilities. Huh? Keep note, the utilities has been very, very positive in here, been one of the best performers started to move up. The consumer and healthcare also started to move up. So those are the one that you want to pay attention in. And the really twist to what we've seen in the economy so far has been uh, what uh, many of the market prediction was talking about. Because of the stock market continued to push higher, the wealth fact are spurring a lot of economic growth and they're kind of confident uh, coming the November 6th presidential election. Uh, there will be some news about the federal rates cuts, right? Because they don't expect it. The, the rate cut will come in June and July, probably in September. That's where the next uh, likelihood of the Federal Reserve to meet. So this is where the good news is. And that's really been driving. If you look back in the history of the inflation as well as presidential election back in 2020, uh, usually the year of the presidential election, which is this year, 2024, would give the market the kind of a wealth effect that we have seen so far. And also the US inflation are coming down 3.36. So uh, again, uh, this is uh, another three or four more days. We would have the April, May 2024, and I think it will be around 3.3 or 3.28. It's not gonna go too low down, but I don't think it's going to go higher. So keep that in mind. Now on the Dow Jones side, you can see uh, what we have in here, the, the S&P 500, which have many of the tech stocks has really moved up. But you look back at the Dow Jones, predominantly are still dominated by the uh, traditional economy, like the oil and gas haven't you know, been doing well, as you can see from last week, when I talk about on the weekly podcast for the members, the crude oil prices has gone below the 200 day moving average around the uh, crude uh, w, uh, WTI crude or around the 76 US dollar in here. But so far, what is positive is the Dow Jones is above 200 day moving average, but it's supported at 38,000 here. All right, so the 38,000 and you had a spring here. That is one of the good positive thing. And let me just highlight this for you so you don't miss this. This is where you want to see spring right at the bottom here, spring right at the bottom, especially on the left hand side. It may retest back again. Right, but this is, I think, the 38,000 would be the low what we have seen so far. Right, railway tracks still moving up. Right, right now we are going through what we see as a stage one accumulation moving sideways here. All right, and uh, sign of strength coming in here. So we just have to wait for that green pentagon to come. All right. On the US NASDAQ, we are seeing the distribution right now. We can see this is why I usually think that the market is not going to move so much, likely to just move sideways before we see couple. But we have two nice tests here. Test and test, those are sign of strength. And if the market have any leg to push up, this is where the market's going to go up higher in here, right? But the uh, if the news of the interest rate uh, delayed, then we might see the market just move sideways. They need another catalyst. Right now, the Apple news with, with the uh, this coming Thursday from the WWDC will prove to be positive for this market to move higher. All right, if you have any stocks that you want me to look at, 
feel free to pencil in there and I'm happy to comment on the US market too. Now let's take a look at the stage 2 share. This is the continuum of the uptrend. We have a lot of them are healthcare. We got APD, uh, PayPal looking good and Uber too. So next week we're going to be check out how well these uh, two stocks will be doing in two weeks time. And don't forget to subscribe to our daily news data. And of course, for our Muslim friend, one way to find out if the shares are Sharia, check out the Sharia US shares that you have here. Or those of you who have it on the Moomoo, they have those two on the uh, US side in here. On the beginner side, on the Roby FA stocks, right, we have two stocks, Oracle, one of the big database mover, and also MasterCard. So right now, you can see uh, here it's important, right, uh, this is the MasterCard. And you can see this is a nice double bottom. You can see spring again. So every time you see the spring on the left hand side of the chart, that means the market's likely to rebound. And I think MasterCard has a little bit of room to go higher. Okay. And uh, next one is Oracle. Already started to take out the old high in here because these are some of the tech stocks, but has started say lagger behind the semiconductors and also some of the AI thing in here. So. Our Pentagon Guider continue to bring great benefits to people who is looking to the market right now. And also check out the watch list. All right. If you have any stocks you want to put up on the watch list, this is where you want to be putting them, them, them. Definitely helps you a lot. Green Pentagon and uh, Red Pentagon for that matter. All right. And don't forget on the 22nd and 23rd, we'll be at the Invest Fair in Mid Valley. Come along, bring your children along and let us hope to inspire your next generation to be interested in the stock market. Right now, the market looking to turn sideways, especially on the NASDAQ of the expectation of the interest rate 2024 with a lower GDP number. All right, market correction is actually a good thing like we see right now in here. Roby FA collection will be good. Overall, I think the market would end up higher than what we see beginning of the year. All right, so that's all we have. Thank you for coming. And of course, our uh, the series three for our VSA premium members continue to be good. You can see some of them already making 40 over percent in here. And those of you who want to move up to the next level, check out our needs to be a trader in here, uh, become one of our premium members. And I can also find out more information to our website. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right. So and any stocks that you want me to look at the US market site, do let me know. I'm happy to uh, help you guys out here. Now, if not, that's all we have for this morning. Thank you again, and I'll see you on Wednesday for our live Facebook talk. Happy trading.